How involved were you? Lauren Southern and Brittany Vendy don't have creative intelligence to come up with something as elaborate as forging medical records over two months with just the intent to humiliate me. This is an attempt by destiny to put me in prison? Rollo has no idea what he's talking about for anything, ever. There's no reason to take anything he says seriously. The US code that he cites about going to prison for, first of all, HIPAA only applies to medical professionals, not to other people. So everything he's saying is already retarded. Two, falsification of medical records to obtain medical services had to do with the US code that he cited, not just random people making up a fucking abortion document or whatever. He, he literally has no idea, he has no idea what my involvement, it might be the case that I had no involvement whatsoever in this at all, you know? It might be, hypothetically, who knows? Maybe this is a real story. It might be the fact that I saw Rolo say that I fucking impregnated Lauren on fucking Twitter, which is wild, because I've only ever fucked Lauren's mom. It might be the case that he said that I started fighting with him on Twitter over it, saying, I want you to post the proof because there's no way that it's real. And it might have been the case that Lauren messaged me in the middle and said, hey, don't bait him too hard. We've got a long troll running, just chill. And I said, oh, and then stop messaging about it. Maybe that happened. That could be the case. Who knows? I have no idea. But what I do know is Rolo knows nothing about anything. All the gossip that he gets is second or third hand at best. It is horrendously unreliable. And holy fuck, he should look at the people around him if he wants some juicy drama more than anybody in my side of the internet because he has no idea what he's talking about over here. Bro, go mine Donovan Sharp's life for drama. That dude has an infinite like plethora of shit that you can mine. Go mine that fucking weird, the guy that assaulted that Japanese chick um, for turning him down in Japan, the MLD, the little molding, balding fat dude that had to suck the fat out of his belly because he's too lazy to work while he's calling everybody else like a fucking loser. Like, go make fun of these people. Why the fuck would you even try to attack him? He's just so stupid. Um, I don't know how anything... <clears throat> I don't know how anybody can take anything this guy says seriously. He's just so cringe. Like he, it's, I don't even like to call him a gossip because usually gossips will like no shit, but he doesn't know anything. He's not in the know for anything. He doesn't have any good information. He just throws around false accusations all the time. <clears throat> like, um, remember when he tried to do the whole thing where he accused Abba and Preach of making hit piece videos on him because they got paid off by somebody to do it? Do you even know how much money people make on this side of the internet? How much money do you have to throw at them to make a 20 minute react on Rolo? Like it's so stupid. Everything he says is so dumb. But yeah, I don't know. All the people in the Fresh and Fit suburb refuse to watch Britney's video or read Lauren's tweet. They're telling each other not to, who cares? All right, I don't care. We're trying to unplug from that community, all right? Adam and Stitch's community sewed out so hard yesterday. Thank you, Destiny, for that unhinged tribal rant. My instinct is that you were an MSM simp through and through, but it's nice to know you're a disingenuous piece of shit. Thank you for having this combo. It's a point to remember that progress was like Destiny don't actually mean what they say. They just lie to get support. Oof, mad. What's this guy? I seriously doubt the I'm so empathetic and sensitive Destiny now, and I shudder that I began to believe it. After this debate, I can only train with extreme suspicion. The mask off comment spoke volumes. Team Truth has a talent getting out the truth in people. I can only treat him with suspicion now, as it's beginning to appear that he doesn't mean what he said. This must be an Adam and Sitch fan, huh? Team Truth? Is, is that the... <laughs> this is one of the biggest shit shows I've seen in a while on this channel. It devolved into a 4v2 interrogation that's complete bullshit. On a positive side, though, Destiny wearing mask off was a bit of relief. I knew he hadn't changed, because now there's no question. He's still the arrogant leftist who would rather see the right removed from society. Don't think I ever said that. It just feels gross when you LARP or pretend like you understand the other side and want common ground, but in reality, you're a sad, hateful individual. Can't trust destiny anymore. I, just because you understand somebody doesn't mean you agree with them. I was so disappointed at destiny. I didn't think it was still so left. I like that like conservatives are like, understand me, when they really just mean agree with me. <laughs> Ugh. Actual fucking delusion. <clears throat> I respected Destiny for what I thought was honest escorts towards the right, but I'll take everything he says with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay. How, how easily triggered these guys are. I thought we were supposed to be the snowflakes. I never knew Destiny had such a low opinion of conservatives. This might be my bad, I guess. Maybe I need to make this more clear. If you support Donald Trump, you are functionally retarded. Like, I feel like I've said that enough times. There's probably some intelligent conservatives out there. There are no intelligent Trump supporters. Um, unless you happen to sort of put him by way of like, I guess you just, if, you, if somebody was like, listen, I'm a greedy fuck, I just want the lowest taxes possible. Eh, okay, fuck it. 
If you want to gamble with the future of the <laughs> future of the country for low taxes, okay, maybe. But like basically anything past that is you functionally you're retarded. I'm sorry. You just are. They're literally in an echo chamber. The only thing they think I think I feel like something that's very frustrating, and I noticed this with Adam and Sitch yesterday, is people this is why I'll never call myself a centrist, or I don't even know if I'll call myself a moderate. I don't think I do. I usually still call myself progressive, and I'll never do it. Because it seems, it feels like every time I dig into people that say that they're like trying to be, um, they want to be centrist or moderate, they try way too hard to both sides things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, and, and then when you dig in a little bit more, it's like, it feels like, yeah, I don't know. It feels like we should have stronger positions on some things, but. Sitch agreeing that all the Trump charges are justified in feminist states, he wouldn't know if he would vote for Trump or Biden. Well, if I'm being, if I'm being- Was the drama ultra, with Molina around ultra, the time? No, that was about fucking your mom. I was, if I was being ultra, ultra, ultra charitable, it's that he wouldn't know if he would abstain from voting or voting for Biden, maybe. <clears throat> Destiny, Adam and Sitch fans aren't looking for agreement. They're looking for authentic empathy. Being smug and calling conservatives retarded is not empathetic. No, no, you're not looking for empathy. But I mean, I understand it. I mean, nobody really- People, people want to be understood and people want to be agreed with. That's what people are looking for. I'm empathetic towards conservatives. I understand why they believe what they believe, but you're looking for somebody that's being a little bit more swayed than that. You want somebody to tell you that your beliefs are okay. I understand why people believe the things they do and I'm empathetic towards it. Doesn't mean that it's not retarded as fuck. Doesn't mean it's not fucking stupid. What is gained by trying to hold accountable for shit opinions? It seems worthless. Probably more productive to say that we're wrong to move on. There has to be an accountability because people need to see a record of what you've been right or wrong on. I wish that people cared about that. I think that's important. I think it's important for, I think it's important for you to see historically who's been correct and who's been wrong. So you can start to project like who's gonna make good predictions in the future, right? And conservatives have been wrong, especially the anti-establishment folk have been wrong on almost everything. So why would you believe anything they have to say in the future? This is why I like to bet money on claims. If you think things are going to start to mass kill people, let's bet money on it. Put your fucking money where your mouth. If you're going to come out and say, like, oh, I'm so confident. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're so confident. Wow, you're going to give me odds on that motherfucker? You want to give me odds? How about we bet that there's at least 10,000 confirmed related deaths out of 330 million people in the US? That's not even that much, right? Let's bet. Let's bet a thousand bucks. I'll give you 10 to one on your money. You should give me odds. You think you're so fucking confident. You give me odds, right? At least that UFO guy. I have more respect. I'm never going to collect on that bet with that UFO guy. You know what? I don't even give a fuck. I don't care if he ever pays me because I have so much respect for the fact that he was at least willing to put his money where his mouth was. And that was on fucking aliens. So A plus to that dude, okay? You know, if you find find a record of me saying this, I won't even pay him out. I, I, I mean, I, I won't make him pay me out when there are no aliens in a year. You know, that's fine. Because um, at least he was willing to put his money where his mouth is. Jesus. What do you think your right to wrong ratio is? My right to wrong, I think I'm generally pretty correct. I think I couch my opinions pretty carefully most of the time. Or usually if I'll say, if somebody say like, what do you think is gonna happen here? I'll say, if this happens, if this happens, I think I'm generally pretty pretty on the money. But I mean, hey, if you think I make bad predictions, then call me out on it. If you think I make good predictions, call me out on it. <clears throat> Remember how I said all these red pill guys would devolve and start fighting each other in like two months? <laughs> you see how, do you see how uh, Fuentes is now fighting with Sneeko, who's fighting with Zerka, and they've all fucking broken up with each other? Hmm. Hmm. Remember when I said when Kanye West, after Fuentes ran off to that campaign, remember I said Ye would probably drop his campaign in two months and all those people would be scattered to the wind and then Fuentes came crawling back to content spaces looking for viewers? Hmm. 